Music, most of my life was not a big deal until I heard a medieval and renaissance group and it just moved me and I wanted to get a lute. You can't really buy one so I figured out how to make it. That was so much fun that I just kept going. found ouds in Pharaoh's tombs 2,000 years before Christ. Crusaders brought it back from the Middle East. They brought the oud back to Europe and that's when it, they put frets on it and turned it into a lute. I have here a Renaissance lute that I built in the shop. It's very typical of a lute from 1500s, 1600s. This one's made of curly maple. This is curly maple, and then the purfling in between is uh, there's a strip of uh, ebony, a strip of holly, and then another strip of ebony. Very, very, very thin. The neck is decorated uh, with a, just a medieval design. Any players, uh, anybody who had to play would always have a musician who could play the lute or something, and this is something you could throw over your back and walk from town to town and uh, make music. I built all of the instruments in here. There aren't any plans that I know of that you can buy to do this, so most of it is done from historical paintings and that sort of thing. For some reason I've had the ability to do that, and I'm not even sure why. <laughs>